Once this is pinned into place, we're going to go to the iron and we're going to press it. Now we are going to be joining the facing to the zipper. The shield is going to be moved out of the way. If we were to sew all of this closed, let's just say by accident we didn't move the shield out of the way. And we sew this. That means that when I come and I try to unzip my zipper, I've sewn it shut. Okay, so you have to be really aware of what you're doing. This next step, when we're joining the facing and the zipper, I'm going to remove this pin. You want to make sure that you move the shield out of the way. The shield is completely moved out of the way so that we don't sew it closed. Okay? So, I'm going to pin this back in place. I'm going to go to the iron and give it a little steam just to secure it. Once we're at the machine, I'm going to set this up so that I'm only sewing the facing and the zipper. The shield has been moved out of the way. This is a stay stitch. So I'm going to be sewing through the zipper tape and the facing, attaching them. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Make sure you back stitch. I'm going to take the pins out to show you. Basically at this point our zipper is in. The last step will be to do the top stitch. So my shield is still going to be out of the way when I do the top stitch because we don't want to sew it shut. Remember the shield is pr to protect the zipper teeth from your skin. So when it's on your body it's this way. So when you unzip it you're unzipping it and underneath is the shield, not your skin. That's the whole point of this piece right here.